All right, guys, welcome back to episode three of the Ultimate Push Car. We got some explaining to do. We have a problem here with getting ahead of ourselves. Things escalate very quickly here. Well, this past Sunday, I was up at like 5.30 in the morning for whatever odd reason. I was on offer up, looking up wheels, and I found something that struck my eye. So this was actually another Fiat 500. Uh, 500T, so it's not the Abarth, it's pretty similar, but had a set of wheels for sale, so I got in contact with the owner. These things look killer on the car, and not only that, he's actually going to be giving us his lowering springs. We just have to swap the stock suspension back into it, which we're going to be doing in an upcoming episode. Um, this thing looks absolutely killer. So what we ended up getting was a set of 18 by 8 plus 34 JNC wheels. Uh, this is like a BBS LM rep. Now, amazing deal because it already came with the hub centering rings and the wobble bolts needed uh, for a complete install. Guys, I got this for 250 bucks and I traded in my stock wheels. Like, I don't think the deal could have gone any better than it did. And uh, he's going to be helping us out with getting the their Madness 2, I think, lowering springs, pretty much the lowest ones they make for this. His ride height was absolutely perfect. The car looked killer. Um, hopefully it doesn't rub too bad, but uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Tell them what tires we got on there. Oh, hold on. What, a, what were they, Ling Long? They're Ling Longs. Yeah, then they were Ling Longs. It was yin yang spinny thing, Ling Longs. They spin. They spin. <laughs> we'll see how long they last. So what else we got going on today is, uh, you know we have to throw a little bit of rice on this thing. So Danny went ahead and ordered these. <laughs> so, is X X Sprite? It's like Sprite. It's like Sprite with an X. With an X. But they got the uh, multicolor, red, green, blue. A wireless remote. Yeah. Got everything needed to install it. We got to figure out what we're doing. This is actually meant for a Jeep, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll go around the field about six times. Yeah, at least. It actually looks like decent quality. How much was this? Thirty bucks. So, I already told you, you know we're gonna be the most obnoxious people at the track, and we have to have these things that put it over the top. So, we're gonna get working on that, get the car in the lift, gonna set up a little time lapse. So we've been getting a real bad habit of doing a lot of work and not updating very often, but we have all four corners set up. So you can see up here, not the highest quality, but pretty sure it works. Got everything secured down the sides. Up front, we decided to not really go on the front bumper. We went a little farther back just to avoid scraping it and ripping it off. Getting in and out of the trailer. And uh, Fiat people. There is a grommet underneath your e-brake that would uh, facilitate this pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, it got a, a, a fairly good sized connector through the hole there. Yeah, for sure. That focus there for a second. That fits through the grommet, so it's a good size. Yeah, we ended up sealing everything up with silicone. That way it's uh, nice and weather tight. So we're gonna go ahead and work on securing all these wires to their respective corners. Uh, we already finished up inside, which was pretty interesting, but I mean, surprisingly, there's a lot of bolts holding this tiny little car together. The whole car is bolted together. There's, the whole car is bolted together. It's not relying on clips. Yeah, definitely not. So, I mean, I guess that's where most of like, the interior quietness comes from. Yeah. So, we're going to work on this real quick, and hopefully we got a finished product to show you guys. All right, guys, the install is a wrap. It was a lot harder to do it cleanly than you'd really think. Uh, we ended up using the... Uh, little plastic skid plate for the fuel lines to run everything up to the front. But everything's sorted. I'm getting some big Tokyo drift feels here. I don't know about all that now. <laughs> well, neons were big back in the day. 
This, this would be cool to track. I mean, uh, again, this is literally to be the most obnoxious thing that we could possibly have. So why don't you hit the lights for me and I'll show you guys real quick how this thing looks. We've told y'all before, but this time I don't think y'all are really ready. <laughs> no one has said it before. All right, let's check it out here. They are pretty bright. I would say we're pretty happy with that for uh, 35 bucks on eBay. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh, should, should we show the people our uh, lighting upgrades? All right, I ended up doing the HIDs on the Fiat. We got uh, 6K uppers and uh, 3K on the bottom. We are gonna wrap the fog lights in yellow film along with the DRLs just because we want them to have a deeper yellow tone. You gotta hit the fog light button in the middle of the dash. So we'll give these things a second to warm up. I'm not too crazy about the bulbs on the bottom either. This was a cheap uh, eBay kit, they don't match necessarily the greatest but it's a much needed lighting upgrade and if i'm not happy with them i do have an extra set of 6k bulbs that i can put on the bottom that way the headlights and fog lights match so this thing is coming along really nice She's all tricked out already. yeah we still got to fix the side skirts but uh that'll be thursday now we're gonna have a minor Welding adventure on Thursday. Oh, yeah, theory fabrications Coming right back at you. It has a particular rasp at like I would say between 2000 and 2500 rpm that sounds like a can of bees so picked up a 12 inch vibrant bottle style resonator uh, It shouldn't quiet it down a whole lot, but it's gonna clean up a lot of the tone so with that being said I guess we're gonna close it out here, right? Yeah, well, we're gonna clean up the shop Again, next episode is gonna be the vibrant resonator install and uh, fixing the side skirts. And then uh, after that is gonna be springs. So we're gonna be trading with the same guy that uh, ended up selling us the wheels. He's giving us his madness uh, two springs. He's got a half coil cut out in the rear. His car sat perfect. So I'm excited to see what this thing's gonna look like. So uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. All right, until then, we'll catch you guys next time.